Hey guys, this is going to be my tutorial for Invasion Realm Warp. Now, there's two parts to Invasion Realm Warp. There's the third Jarger Jump, where you go around the bridge, like this. And then the second part is where you jump onto a tree, and then you access a room while skipping a loading zone. And then the second player spawns out of bounds. And then as the second player spawns out of bounds, you rotate the stick a little bit to get around an invisible wall slash death plane, and then you're able to access a loading zone, which actually loads in the final room. The strat saves about five to seven seconds, depending on how well you perform it and how well your out of bounds are is when you jump out of Jar Jar. And it's definitely not a strat that you should be going for if you have like a 105-ish. It's definitely a world record strat for sure. But I'm going to try to explain the first part here. So yeah, pretty much if you do JJJs in the, or Jar Jar jumps in the first room, just like Jar Jar Jar, because again, this jump, you can do the ROM warp without doing this jump, but it's, I don't know, you might as well invest in learning, learning in this if you're learning the entire ROM warp, because the ROM warp by itself doesn't really save a lot if you don't really know uh, what you're doing. But if you do JJ, if you do if you do JJJs, uh, basically just jump over the Jedi like this, and then walk around. Because this is like situated on the wall, so you want to like go. I just fell off there. You're gonna want to go around the bottom, and then you're gonna want to get on this ledge. Now, if you fail this, uh, when you respawn, be sure to hold up when you respawn so you don't fall because if i don't hold anything i'm just gonna fall and there's a small glitchy ledge that you can stand on that's in the rocks it's kind of invisible uh and it's kind of transparent why so the charger's legs are kind of running into it and you want to jump from as far right as possible and then when you are far right enough without falling you want to initiate the first jump to get around the bridge so hold bottom right on the control stick and then when you're actually away from the bridge, hold upright, and you should be able to barely get on the ledge, which is on the the to the entrance of the cave. So kind of like this. That wasn't far right enough. That's why I didn't get that, even though the angle was good. That second jump was too late. Yeah, because if you are too late in initiating your second jump you will not get the second jump. That's how the double jumping mechanics work in this game. Yeah, it's like a... Okay, so that was good. Yeah, you want to be, like, right here. Or where I pause. You want to be, like, right there when you jump. That little black area on the right. And as long as you memorize the angles on your control stick, you should be able to get it every time. Uh, common mistakes I do see when people do this is that uh, their first jump fails, and that usually means that they weren't, well, not far right enough, but you didn't hold down right enough when you did the first jump, so your head just butted against the bridge, and you just lost all your momentum. Uh, if you don't, if you die, like, here, or if you fall off from here, it means that you didn't go far right enough when you jumped up from the rock. Your first jump was good, but the second jump, well, the second jump is actually a lot more lenient than the first, I would say. But your position on that rock wasn't quite good enough. And uh, you weren't able to get onto the ledge. You can't fail the second jump, but it's a lot more rare than failing the first one or failing the position on the rock. Those are definitely the most important for sure. Or they have the most... They definitely have the most uh, amount of ways to make mistakes. Alright, so, once you're actually over this, make sure to go around here. Uh, when you're in the water, you, you travel, you walk a little bit slower, so make sure to jump over that. And then our next goal is we want to jump from this tanker leg, the tanker blaster, and then go to the center of the tree. So how do we do this? Well, basically try to run into the tanker like this. I wish I had a Vince on. Uh, can I turn a Vince on? Yes. All right. So, now that we're actually here, you want to run off of it, but right before you're about to fall off, 
delay a double jump and hold bottom left on the control stick. You want her you want to hold more down than left because this entire tree you can only stand on the center of it. The rest is actually transparent. And I actually got in the center there, but I actually moved, so I was able to fall through the bottom and there we go. Uh, I'm able to stand on it. So if I moved at all right now, I would be I would fall. So once you're actually on the tree, uh, both parts can be kind of finicky. I personally find the tree jump harder because I've put a lot of time into the charger jump. Uh, what we're going to do from here is you kind of have to delay a double jump and then get to the next room. And when you're actually when you're actually falling, you're going to want to spam A so you can do an infinite high jump out of bounds. And then you're going to go into this room without, well, skipping the transition. So yeah, just move forward and then delay a double jump very slightly. Spam it. And there you go. That was pretty good. Uh, you can actually make that out of bounds time shorter if you delay the double jump as much as humanly possible. You notice how I pop back in bounds there when I actually uh, went to this room is because I delay the double jump as much as possible. If you don't delay the double jump at all, if you just straight, if you just straight double jump and then go over the wall, you're going to either fall in, or, and die or you'll fall to the very bottom of the floor and then you have to infinite high jump all the way back and that's super super slow uh so that's that's my tip so yeah when you have your second because you've only two controllers for this i might have not mentioned that so when player one is inbound and jar jar is inbound spam start on player two uh this is going to call him as soon as possible so you call him about now and then when player two starts spawning in you want to rotate uh, bottom left at like a mm, probably like a 75 degree angle I'll probably show it on the control on the webcam angle later you want to start from the left and then you want to rotate top right on the octagonal sticks on the GameCube or whatever controller that you have and the thing that this ensures is that you won't with the angle that the line that you're taking you won't encounter a death plane and you won't encounter a invisible wall and if you do encounter any of those just go to like the opposite side and you should be able to get around it and you just hold that line and then you should be able to access that room drop out player two and there you go so i think something else i do want to mention is that common mistakes with the tree jump um People usually fall through, or they don't make it to the center of the trunk if they don't hold down left enough. Or or they move too early, because you have to get that base stand first on the tree before you initiate the jump. But yeah, uh, this trick is definitely very control stick heavy. And I will be splicing in some webcam footage after this, so hopefully that'll help. That is my tutorial for Invasion ROM Warp. I hope that has helped anybody wanting to learn it. And I will see you guys later. See ya.